Hey there guys, good afternoon. Welcome to Chigere Chigere China. And we're here in my home now. I'm just uh, getting ready to, uh, well, I'm not getting ready to do anything. Actually, I'm making my first ever YouTube video. Uh, but later today, of course, I gotta go to work. I'm an English teacher here in China. I've been teaching English now for six, liu liu liu, six years. And uh, of course, I can't wait for you guys to get to know more about me, why am I here, and uh, why have I stayed so long. But first, we got to address the elephant in the room. No, there's not an elephant in the room. It's uh, the current uh, talk about the ban of WeChat and TikTok, otherwise known as Weixing and Douyin. If my pronunciation isn't spot on, well, I apologize. What I do want to talk about today is WeChat. Because many of you don't know what is WeChat. So let's find out. What is this dangerous, coercive, 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 corrupt app that is putting the lives of so many American citizens at risk? Well, let's find out. Okay, so uh, this of course is my chats, uh, and it is just way too huge, but um, <laughs> of course you can kind of organize it. I have my girlfriend on the first part here. Uh, as you notice, she sends me some things in Chinese. I can easily translate that. I just click on the, the message, and I have a couple of options. Of course, it's in English, so this is nice for me. Uh, and of course, if I want to translate that, okay, I have some class in the morning. Very nice. Uh, what's cool about this is you get all these little cute stickers. Uh, and I find these stickers to be way better than uh, other apps that I've used just a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I love my stickers. Uh, but for example, let's send my sis my girlfriend a uh, cute little sticker here of uh, me looking strong. Oh, not really. Uh, and the cool thing is that you get some uh, private stickers. So uh, as you can see, I have some private stickers, some of them a little bit yellow. <laughs> if you know that that means in Chinese, well, then you know. So some people who may say that uh, uh, the WeChat is uh, totally, uh, how to say, controlled and uh, very strict. Well, you can get away with a lot of things here. And especially in the, the early stages of WeChat, we had these, you know, uh, groups that were posting uh, uh, anything you can imagine, uh, car accidents, uh, killings, uh, uh, even some government things or whatever. But uh, and of course, you had your porn groups and so on. Uh, but now they've really cracked down on a lot of that. So which is nice. Of course, I, I think during that time, it was kind of like the wild, wild west. And uh, we had a lot of fun. But at the same time, uh, some of those things weren't necessarily good for children or uh, maybe for the society. So that's a lot of what China does. Uh, they, you know, they censor movies, they censor uh, videos and so on. And uh, some of it's good, I think. Although, if you've ever opened a Chinese uh, Baidu or, uh, uh, you know, the other... I don't even remember the other uh, search engine for China. Uh, and I'll show you that next time, but it's just, it's ripe with uh, uh, basically soft porn and uh, terrible images that everybody can see. So uh, I don't buy this whole China uh, is uh, really censoring for the betterment of the society. Sometimes uh, it's a little hit and miss. So anyway, so enough of that. Let's uh, go into some more things here. Uh, what's nice is you can get some subscriptions. Uh, these are some news articles, uh, and if you notice, the first one here, uh, Trump says Americans will have to learn Chinese if, if what, if what, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so some of these news articles are pretty, you know, they're, they're definitely not uh, top-of-the-line journalism. A lot of them are, uh, how to say, uh, taken from other websites. Uh, but they're good, and I like to use a lot of these for my classes. Uh, some of them are about Wenzhou, of course, where I'm living. And some of them are just, uh, uh, of course, about uh, expats living in China. Or, uh, uh, and of course, there's uh, some Chinese propaganda in here, but that's all good. It's usually positive stuff, uh, 
but of course you'll might you'll also get some real stuff like uh, some killings or uh, problems yay they're trying to ban plastic bags and tableware go China okay so that's nice uh, anyway so this is the chat uh, we got a lot of good things here such as uh, you got your memes and uh, some of them are better than others anyway so we're not gonna go there we'll go down the rabbit hole of meme meme city the meme universe and we won't ever get out anyways it's great groups are great here you can send files you can send messages you can send pictures this is my study group my students here uh, yeah good stuff uh, okay I don't want to go too much in that but uh, just convenience 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 okay let's go to me of course you get your profile picture looking good looking good uh, you get a little QR code that you can easily add people to your WeChat. You get your ID, so on. Please don't take my ID and do bad things. Okay, you have cards, you have your WeChat pay, and uh, let's check this out because this is what it's all about. Of course, first thing you notice uh, is my wallet. Okay, that's uh, RMB right there. So I can uh, keep money in my wallets. People transfer me money, send me some red envelopes, so on and so forth. It's just super... Uh, convenient later I'll show you how to buy things on WeChat uh, I never carry an actual wallet around anymore it's uh, it's useless it's uh, stupid so uh, yeah you can see we have a lot of things in English so that's nice most important these days we have this health code now I have my health code set to my Alipay and not my uh, not my WeChat so anyways uh, this uh, health code uh, which I'll show you later is used to get into such things as a Walmart, uh, shopping malls, or if you're gonna buy train tickets, travel, whatever. It shows that you haven't been infected, you haven't been near somebody infected, and you haven't traveled to some hotspot areas like Wuhan or uh, now it's in the northern China, such like this. So it's great. It goes from green, means you're good, yellow means warning, and red means, well, you're you're uh, should be in quarantine or something I don't know what red will <laughs> I don't know what will happen with red but basically you can't travel you can't go into many places uh, but it's great you know China has this uh, you know it's, uh, how to say uh, a certain amount of control and uh, uh, surveillance over their citizens but in the, in times of uh, epidemics or pandemics it's uh, really useful because uh, they can track people where they went uh, who they might have infected and uh, that's why China has been able to really do a great amazing job with uh, uh, controlling the virus uh, and we'll get into that in another episode anyways going back here public services uh, I seldom use this because I can't read it and uh, whatnot but yeah we got buses here uh, we got uh, DD's uh, which is like the uber of China hospitals I don't know so many things uh, trains, subways. Uh, like I said, I don't use it because uh, mm, I can't read Chinese. Plus, uh, I just get my girlfriend to do that and stuff. Okay, we have a mobile top up here, and uh, I'm not going to show that because it'll show my phone number, but uh, uh, that's just great. You can add your data, uh, you can add your minutes or whatever to your phone. Uh, needless to say, in China, data. Uh, phone services are super cheap compared to the West. Well, I don't know about England and so, so forth, but uh, yeah, I don't even think about the money I spend uh, with my data and such because uh, it's cheap. You know, the gas money I would spend if I had a car would be more than I pay for utilities. Okay, we can do some charity, I guess. So wealth keeps track of your uh, bank account or how much money you've spent, where you're spending it. Uh, all this good stuff you can repay your credit cards I guess oh wait here we go there's we got DD we got food delivery uh, everything hotels pff, housing it's just I mean you could live in this app and not use another single app and I'm telling you your life would be fantastico movie tickets yeah just just women style I don't even know again I hardly use these uh, except for the food delivery, I use a different app, Meituan, which is the food delivery system here. And I usually have a Chinese friend help me for buying train tickets, etc. But, yeah, it's amazing, you know. Why don't we have this in the West, this kind of app? I don't know. 
Um, yeah. Of course, we have a kind of a wall like you would get in uh, Facebook. These are my moments. And as you can see, it was recently my birthday and we partied like rock stars. And you can go in, for example, and uh, see your post. You can only put nine pictures at a time, which is kind of good. It makes you kind of like you have to focus. Uh, you don't overdo it. You know, some people posting like 100 pictures on Facebook. Who's going to look at that? I don't know. You know, it shows your likes here. Uh, I think that uh, WeChat has more privacy than Facebook. You can really control who sees it. Not everybody can see your messages, only if you add them or they are friends with the people that you added. Uh, uh, so it's great, you know, and you can see some other people. You can just click on their, uh, their little picture, shows you their ID, etc. Yeah, um, you can add her. She's nice. Okay. Mm, there's my girlfriend and there's my friend Barbara. Okay, so yeah, uh, moments are great. You can put pictures. Uh, you can also put some... Oh yeah. You can put a video here like I have. Uh, yeah, I kind of regret those tequila shots. Uh, the videos are short, so also again, you only get uh, a few... Uh, maybe 15 seconds for them. I don't really like that, but at the same time, it doesn't, it, it makes sure that you don't clutter up your, uh, the whole, uh, how to say wall, right? Um, you can put music. Yeah. Uh, and of course, here's my homepage. Uh, going back, uh, you can keep some favorite things, uh, such as, uh, uh, addresses, sentences, information, whatever. Uh, it's great. Uh, okay, contacts go for alphabetical order. I have brrr, how many contacts? Uh, let's find out. 1,764 contacts. That's way too much. A lot of them are just pretty girls that added me. Students, pretty girls, and uh, yeah, more girls. Uh, Go into this discover curse. We see our moments here and uh, we'll see a kind of wall. Uh, what I don't like about WeChat is that it has a lot of, um, oh, congratulations. Okay, you can like, you can comment. Uh, congratulations. She got some kind of degree here. Uh, they have too much uh, advertising and uh, they do a lot of business on uh, WeChat, so uh, I don't really like that, but you can block people. Of course, it's easy, so I try to block a lot of people who send um, a bunch of crap like this guy. Well, okay, he's a restaurant. I actually like him, but uh, yeah. So as you can see, it's uh, a lot of this in Chinese. We can just translate that. I don't know what it means, but okay. And of course, like Facebook, People put way too many videos and pictures of their children. Maybe it's because I don't have children, I don't care. Oh, child modeling. That's so wrong, and i definitely going to block him. So let's see how to do that. Go to Chris. He's always posting child models. I don't like that. We can block him right there. Okay. Of course, you could just block him, hide my post, hide their post. Yeah. It's, uh, it's nice. It's nice blocking people. I like it. We got mini games. We got games. Uh, here we go. People nearby. This is kind of cool. Of course, it's going to get your location. So of course, China knows what I'm, what I'm doing, where I'm doing it at all times. That's okay because I'm not doing anything besides scratching my butt most of the time. So who cares? Uh, you can find men or women who are nearby. Of course, I have it set now to women, females only, males only. View all. Send some greetings. Uh, this is a kind of way of dating or just making friends in the area, if you don't know. So you can send a greeting. Hello. Okay, just hello. Maybe I'll make a new friend. Maybe not. Uh, of course, again, clicking on someone, sometimes you can see their pictures. Chinese don't like to send their face picture. Here's the one. Oh, this looks like a... Oh. Oh, so you can scan that maybe 
of course, you'll find some prostitutes here. Uh, but beware, in China, a lot of them are fake. A lot of them are not what they seem, so be careful. But, uh, yeah. Again, you can also... Yeah, okay, now go back, go back, sorry. Okay, you can uh, shake, which is really old. Let's see. I will look for some people in my area. It's kind of fun. I never use it. Although, there are some like games you can play with this. Like, um... Uh, they hand out lucky money. You shake it first, you get the lucky money. It's kind of cool. Okay, you can scan stuff. Uh, QR codes are the thing here. And now they have this channels mode where it's kind of like a... Ah! Sorry about that, guys. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Oh, that, was, that was scary. Sorry, guys. So, like, I have my friend here. My name here. is Craig. Craig! Now, from this America. Is before from the Texas. British consulate was built. This is the floor plan, and I would really... Cool, I'll check that out later. Anyways, uh, so this is more like uh, some vlogging. Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, yeah, and I want to get a channel going here just to kind of promote my online teaching. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like a way to vlog. So you got your own like vlog set up in the WeChat, which also has Facebook-style wall moments or pictures kind of like Twitter and where you're just, you know, you're uh, sending out messages, you're uh, involved in what's going on in the day-to-day -day life and news. It's kind of like um, uh, what's up where you're sending personal messages. And of course, for example, we can make a phone call. If I wanted to call my girl, we go to video call and uh... all right. So now that you know what WeChat is all about. It's basically like an all-in-one super app that makes uh, living in China or connecting to people super convenient and it's necessary for almost everything going on in China. Now what about outside of China and uh, what about it getting banned? Okay, so I was checking out the comment sections of, uh, of a different uh, <laughs> YouTube, yeah, YouTube comment section. I shouldn't have gone there. I should have known better. But I couldn't help myself, you know? I just wanted to see what's going on. What are, pe what are pe people talking about? What's going on? Why are they banning this? And, uh, yeah, what do people think? So, let's get into some of the comments I checked out. Some of the top comments were such things, such bright ideas as, well, why don't they just use WhatsApp or Messenger? Hmm. That would be nice. However, WhatsApp, Messenger, and uh, Twitter, and Facebook are all banned or blocked in China. So, for example, if uh, my neighbor's son is studying in the U.S., she wants to call him or maybe send him some money via WeChat. Well, she wouldn't be able to do that anymore. Well, why not use WhatsApp? Well, she can't. It's also blocked here. So, uh, uh, she can't use those unless she has a VPN which is also illegal uh, so yeah meaning that it's much more complicated for her to talk to her son now I'm sure she can go through other apps and they can figure it out but other apps suck I mean it's not WeChat and it's not convenient and um, so on and so forth money uh, you know uh, convenience so it's a big hit and so what does that mean? So grandma can't talk to her son, but uh, okay, well let's think about the uh, privacy and safety of the US. Of course, I don't want China spying on me or spying on my friends or family back home. Now, what can they spy on? I mean, I don't really care. Uh, I know that almost every app or every device these days is tracking me, my purchase history, and who knows, maybe even the camera now that can see me. In some ways I don't care because uh, I'm not doing anything too bad. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and uh, uh, I, 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 okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Again, I'm not doing anything that I would care not for 
somebody to know about. I mean, again, everything's taking my information. Uh, if I'm going to Walmart, uh, Walmart knows everything I'm buying, when I buy, and how long I buy. So that's just a whole rabbit hole of, you know, everything we do is being tracked or can be tracked, right? So am I going to worry about Facebook tracking me or WeChat tracking me? Yeah, both of them suck, but uh, I need to, I like to use Facebook, so I'm going to go there unless I know someday I want to live out in the middle of nowhere, away from off the grid kind of but uh, until that day I'm gonna have to deal with this now of course WeChat being in China is a little different because China's CCP government China CCP the CCP <clears throat> uh, has a lot more authority connection integration with these companies so uh, basically they can do what they want America is different America more like the companies have all the power in the US they're the ones that can get into our data and do stuff with it which is not necessarily as dangerous because companies just want to make money whereas the CCP maybe is more about spying and uh, infiltration you know so at least that's what I hear or what they're saying so again I don't care uh, I'm not uh, uh, yeah anyways I don't care so without that out the window, let's go on to some other comments, such as Ban all the Chinese apps. Everything China is communism. Communism. Do people even know what communism means? Do they not know that China has already thrown those shackles of communism away? And is basically a capitalist economy with a central government that has only one party rule. So, uh, <laughs> when you come to China, as I'll show you, hopefully, you'll quickly find out that uh, any ideas of a communist state where people wear matching clothes and uh, sing uh, uh, songs about the country and wear red hats, green hats, red hats, that's 30 years ago, China, 40, 50 years ago. And let me just say, China has changed a lot since then. Probably the fastest change in the history of the world. So again, it's not a communist state. Communism is an old term. It just doesn't fit China anymore. The Chinese describe their country as a socialist uh, economy, or sorry, a socialist country with uh, Chinese characteristics. And whatever that means they love money and yeah anyways uh, so please stop saying communism it's just not right okay okay that out of the way let's uh, go into some other comments here disturbing hateful comments about going to war now I don't know how many comments I saw about well let's just fight stop all this uh, uh, talking and just go to war it's time to nuke them yeah nuke them oh my god <sighs> one thing that Donald Trump has definitely done has brought the hate there's a lot of hate in the world these days and uh, if we're willing to go to war because of what why what did China do to us well sure they spied on us they took lots of information but uh, haven't we done that to everybody too? I mean, we're America. Read the history book. Our hands are as dirty as the next person. So to point the finger at someone else, it's just a little bit like calling the kettle black. But okay, China definitely has stepped over the line in many ways. And I'm not going to go into that. But uh, war? Really? Okay, so let's talk about COVID-19. Some may call it a different name, but uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, COVID-19 started in China. Well, it spread. And I think almost every country in the world, well, especially those who didn't do so well to control it, are to have some blame. You know, we can start pointing the fingers almost anywhere, from people not wearing masks to people going out 
protesting during the coronavirus, not social distancing, uh, governments not doing a good enough job in hospitals, transportation, etc. But uh, to say it was a biological weapon that was released to blah, 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 it's just hearsay. And uh, are we going to go to war over something like that? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, I just wish people knew what I'm hoping to show you guys that, sure, governments suck. In fact, I dislike almost every government on this earth because governments are governments. But in these countries, America, China, Thailand, it's full of beautiful people. Wonderful, innocent, fun-loving people. Actually, did you know in my city there are millions of Christians? Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. Okay, so, sure, WeChat has done some things that maybe should get it banned, but let's talk about the repercussions, okay? So a lot of people just say, ban it, ban it, like it's no big deal. Like it's just, okay, so China has banned many things before, so why can't we ban some things? Well, if you're saying it like that, well, you got to realize, first of all, that you don't want the U.S. to be like China, right? So if we live in a free market economy where competition is supposed to be held up high and where freedom is uh, what we are spouting out that is so important about the American ideals. And yet here we are banning an app for either political reasons, <clears throat> elections coming soon, security issues which uh, can be addressed without this and uh, really it's just hurting the customers or us okay now what will happen if we chat span well first of all thousands and millions of students from Asia China come to the US and spend lots of money in our higher education institutes no we chat well and this, especially now, if uh, families don't feel like uh, their children are safe, they're not going to be going to school. They're going to be going to other places. And that's a lot of money. Now, maybe you'll say, good riddance. So we don't want them anyways. Well, a lot of these children take American ideals about uh, education or culture, bring it back to China, and change the society in good ways that we want. Right? Uh, some ch kid who has lived in the U.S., they get to see, wow, yeah, these are the benefits of freedom or uh, of uh, different cultures. Uh, and maybe they can also bring some great things about Chinese culture or Asian culture to the U.S., which is called cultural exchange. And, uh, yeah, that's great, right? And, of course, a lot of these kids are super smart, rich, and they, they open businesses or companies or uh, have jobs in the U.S. And, uh, yeah, again... A lot of these Chinese are very smart. A lot of them smarter than our students. Believe me, these kids study hard. And that's another video. But uh, yeah, they study, okay? Uh, so, millions of dollars of students. Now, what about, uh, of course, money flow, okay? WeChat, again, is a way where we can transfer money easily. With that stopped, yeah, money stops. Economy, of course, uh, economy in China will go down. Well, guess what? Our economy is tied to China in many ways. Our economy goes down. Well, the world economy goes down. So this is just not just banning an app. It's, this is causing a domino effect of, uh, uh, yeah, bad things which will hurt the world economy and therefore our daily lives. Yeah. Another thing is that uh, this only serves to heighten tensions between the US and China. Now I know a lot of you, you're ready for war. You're ready to go out there. You be the first one, my mate, because uh, you can talk big on, on a comment section, but unless you are actually a soldier and prepared for that, don't even say that. You're just, you've been playing Call of Duty way too much, or who knows what you play, play with yourself. Uh, again, I love peace, man. I love to travel to different countries, meeting different people, and live in a place where I don't feel scared or where I can actually 
travel freely and, uh, and <laughs> how to say, live in a world where people get along, right? Uh, but this kind of thing only heightens tensions and uh, makes life for the everyday person more difficult. But anyways, maybe, maybe that's necessary. Who knows? But uh, I just wanted to address some things. I hope that people will be more enlightened to about what is WeChat. It's not just a, a normal app that we can just ban so easily without affecting not only millions of lives, but our own lives. And that people, come on, stop hating. Okay, thank you guys. See you next time on Breaking the Wall.